Making history, the men's and women's gymnastics teams both won the national championships last week at OU. Now we're hearing from them live on KOCO 5 News at 9 a.m. KOCO's Jonathan Cooper has the coolest <laughs> assignment of the day. He's at OU right now with the champions. Jonathan, have you tried the parallel bars yet? <laughs> I have not tried the parallel bars yet. Uh, I haven't stretched out yet. I need to stretch out and I'll go over there maybe after this interview and, and try it out. But guys, what a year for the uh, University of Oklahoma, their athletic department. We all know, of course, about their basketball team and their football team, but their gymnastics team is national champions. And it's the first time in NCAA history that both the men and the women team won the national title. And we're joined now by some members of those teams. Take a look at these trophies. These are impressive trophies, guys. So we're joined now by Haley Skaman, Keely Kmikciak, Sergi Resnick, I think I got that right. Colin Van Wicklin, Yul Meldauer, and the, the coach, Mark Williams. So guys, thank you guys for joining us today. And first off, congratulations on, on the title. How does it feel to be national champions? Who wants to answer this one first? Uh, I get it. Um, I would like to say it's surreal, but I think that would be a lie. because we, we all worked super hard to get here. And something that we, we I mean, we didn't expect anything less, so. And it, it's back-to-back -back titles for the men, two and a three for the women. So I'm going to talk to you guys. How does this feel for you? Um, it is awesome. Last time we won, it was uh, tied, and this time we were by ourselves winning. Um, so it was just an amazing feeling. Now, Haley, I also understand that, I, Haley, you were a part of the, you were about to perform, and you found out that you guys had won. So what was that like? Um, it was crazy. I was turned around and then my first movement in my floor routine, I actually looked at Keely and she was sobbing. So then I knew that something had to have happened and the crowd was going crazy and I knew we won. That's awesome stuff. I want to head over here now to the coaches because you guys are kind of the force behind it all. Mark and KJ, thank you guys for joining us. So um, for you guys, you guys worked hard for this, obviously, and you guys have had some success recently. But did you guys expect this? I know you guys were, were hoping for it. I didn't expect the margin to be that large for sure, but I knew that we'd put in the work and we were doing very well undefeated all season. So they had to go out there and do it, you know, and that's the thing. We got on a roll after after Palma Horse where we were awesome. You know, I just felt like we just have to ride the wave and do what we train to do. And what does this mean for the university? I mean, you know, just for the success that the gymnastics program has had here at OU. Well, we, you know, this is the first time men's and women's programs have won in the same year. So if it were easy to do, we would have done it already. And uh, we've made history, and I think that's awesome for Oklahoma. I mean, people are talking about Oklahoma all over the country. Yeah, great gymnastics program. Now, coming up today at 1 o'clock, you guys are going to be meeting some fans and taking pictures and things. And some people can get their picture taken with these trophies over here. Tell me about that. What are you guys going to be doing uh, here later today? Well, the OU uh, Athletic Department is putting on a celebration for both teams. Uh, President Bourne and Joe Castiglione are going to you know, celebrate our victory. So we'd love to have people come out and celebrate with us. Definitely. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you all for joining us here on KOCO this morning. And uh, hopefully some people can come out today and see these trophies and get a picture taken. Guys, I may uh, go stretch out and go uh, get a workout in after this. So I'll send it back to you. <laughs>